Hi, welcome to today's inventory tutorial. My name is Mihalik with Invicta Studios. If you have any questions or ideas for future tutorials, just leave a comment down below and we'll eventually get to it. I'm trying to do one video, t one tutorial video a day, so eventually we'll get to your ideas. Today's tutorial is all about item stacking, which I'm sure some of you have been looking forward to. So it's a bit complex, so we'll just jump into it. One of the first things we're going to need to do is add in a new item, uh, a data structure. So uh, click game, game blueprints, uh, create blueprint structure, and call it item data stacking structure. it up and the first variable is going to be item data structure an array of them so let's call this the items add a new variable and this is going to be an array of the amount save it And it, uh, don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. Oh, wait, yeah, we do. We do need that. Just kidding. We don't need this. So we need to open up our UMG inventory widget. And this is all going to be on the construct. So we'll probably just go ahead and break that and pull this up. And what's going to start with is we will need to get the scroll box and we'll need to just go ahead and clear it. Because anytime you um, make a change to it, it won't update, so we'll just need to completely clear it and rebuild it. Next, we need a variable, which is the item stacks. And that's going to be what we just made, the item stacking, item data stacking structure. So get that, and we'll need to break this open. Actually, this needs to be an array. The amount needs to be an array. So save that, and compile. Just update it. And it's going to be the same thing. We'll, we'll need to clear these, both of these, along with the other things. It might not seem that important now, but um, as it got more and more complex, I realized this needed to be done. So I'm just adding this in from the beginning. Um, you can try it without it if you like. We need to get my character. You can get the inventory. and we'll need a for each loop so that's not that bad so far but so well so for each item in your inventory it's going to run a for each loop but for each of those we'll need a for each loop with break and this needs to be we we'll go ahead and pull this over. This is going to be for each one of the items. This needs to be hooked up to a branch. And we'll need to get this element and break it open. So if this is a tool. Um, then we'll, so we're going to set it up so it um, doesn't stack because I mean you don't really want your tools um, or your weapons stacking unless you have a game that it works like that I suppose we need, also need to break this open all right so what we're gonna do basically is for each thing in the inventory it's gonna run 
um, each of the items in the stacking. Um, so basically, every new item you have is going to add to the stacking. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to check the names. And if the name of your new item is already in the item stacking, it's going to add one to the amount for that. Let me see. We will need a branch. False. So if this is equal, we will need to set elements for the amount. Well, let put this at a reroute node. These reroute nodes are pretty nifty. Um, they Instead of having three lines all coming over I can bring the one line and this node right here is basically this pin so when you have wires everywhere that are all the same thing it just helps clean it up so this is going to go here but we're also going to need a get for that array uh, let's see and this index is going to go here well, it's going to need to go both of these places, so I'll add a node. And this is going to be the index. So, what this is doing is for each thing you have in your inventory, it's going to run all of this. So, um, say your first apple, it's going to run this for each loop with break. It's going to for how whatever you have set in here, which I guess we haven't really said anything yet. Um, if the name of the item is equal to a name that's already in here, um, we're going to basically get the amount index and add one to it. And set it. So each time it does it and decides to fit it'll add one. Um, I guess I should explain how this works. These are two arrays um, but whenever we do it or whenever we use or get the uh, an index from the list of items this is going the index is going to correlate to this so like the first item is going to be zero and it'll be apple and the first amount will be like one or two so if it's set to two there will be two apples so if you have ten items and the ninth is like a banana whatever the index of here that correlates the same will be the amount of items there is so I guess a little dense to grasp but after a while you start to get it uh, let's see next one need this okay we gotta add a variable. Inventory stacking int. It's gonna be an integer. We need to set um, whatever it is plus one. Oh, that's not right. And this is going to be linked up to the um, the false for both of these. So basically, um, this happens when it's a, vi a new item it sets it um, to one so instead of it being zero it sets the initial and then if it does find it again it just gets it and then adds one to it 
and let's see. And when it does set the array element, if it does find it, it'll just end the loop cycle. So let's move this up. So all of this runs for each item of this, which is in this. So when this, bleh, you, you can close those down. Um, so when this is completed, it needs to go to a branch. And if If the length of this is equal to the item inventory stacking end, you need to get this and add whatever the item was which will be the element of this yes so basically whenever it's a new item um, it's going to add uh, the thing in your inventory to the item stacking And then we need to set the inventory item stacking. Nope, set. To zero. To restart it basically for the next loop. And that's that. So all of this runs for each one of these items. So when that's completed. We need another loop for each loop. Let's get rid of all this. Actually, we're about to need it. We need to get the item stacks. Break it. So for each of these, for each of the known items basically one of each item you have in your inventory it'll run a for each loop and it'll create the widget or create the button which will be the button Which we need to open. Let's compile and save this. And that and just add a variable real quick for the amount. Make that an int. And we need to expose it. Compile save. Go back to the inventory. Set amount to be so we need to get we need to get the correlating index of whatever this is so we need to get that and then set that to that then we need to set the item data to be this And pretty much delete all that and just move this over. Then so you need to set my character and add a child. And that should be it. So we can test it, play it, pick up a couple of different things. Let me check. 
So every time it's created, it clears this. Shuts all this. Alright, uh, since the video is pretty much at its length, I'll find the what's making this not work and we'll upload upload the next part the same day. So see you in the fixed video.